Now the driver out of Monrovia, Indiana. That's the Avanti Windows and Doors Big Spring Car Wash. Water treatment by design. Gin Moore Florist, number 13 of Justin Peck. Justin Peck in car number 13. At the flag stand now from Calera, Oklahoma. That's the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, LS Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, DRC Legacy Foundation, number 88R of Ryder LaPlante. Ryder LaPlante in car number 88R. And rolling into turn number one now from Enum Claw, Washington, the Casey Kane Race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, Kane Screen Print, number nine, it's Casey Kane. For just the second time in its history, hot laps, we got 410 sprint cars on the racetrack at RPM Speedway here in Crandall, Texas. Track certainly appears to be a little bit greasy out right that right out there right now. And we see that quite often early on in the practice sessions here with these Wing 410 sprint cars on the Kubota Highlander Racing Tour. But that track will come in quickly and then it'll start to pick up some speed. Right now, the best lap time is a 14.053. That time set by Tanner Thorson. Now it's up to a 15.174. Or sorry, it's still a 14.053. I was looking at the wrong column there. 14.053 for Tanner Thorson and Hunter Sherberg, 14.158. Now we got a 13 second lap time, 13.535. So the fastest so far in hot laps presented by Dirt Draft is car number nine, Casey Kane at 13.535. That's the fastest time so far. Tanner Thorson at 14.053. Hunter Schoenberg at 14.158. Justin Peck at 14.208. And Kerry Madsen, 14.311. Now what the drivers are doing, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to actually go around the racetrack at slow speeds and help pack the racetrack in. And this will help uh, speed up the, ra or the process of getting the track kind of tuned in a little bit more here and provide for more fasting or more faster lap times here so we see this quite often here in uh, 410 sprint car racing we do it all the time with Kubota high limit racing these drivers once they make a couple laps at slow speeds packing this racetrack in it definitely helps speed up the lap times and I think we're going to see some at least 11 second lap times here tonight the track's still very very wet very slippery and it's tough to grab a hold of right now the best time is at a 13 535 around this quarter mile come back on and we are back underway here at dirt draft hot lap session number one should see the lap times improve here after that slow wheel packing session Kerry Madsen now into the 13 second back it and there goes Justin Peck to the top of the speed chart Casey Kane jumps into the 12s at a 12 946 that's actually Tanner Thorson's lap time he just passed Casey Kane that last time by so Thorson the fastest in car number 88 Yellow lights come on. Checkered flag is out. Now the fastest driver overall in dirt draft hot laps is Tanner Thorson in car number 88. Lap time of 12.537. Casey Kane at 12.649 is second quick. The 73 car of Hunter Schoenberg is third quick at 12.676. And Justin Peck fourth at 12.991. Kerry Madsen 13.403. Next group of cars rolling onto the racetrack for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. They are led out by the driver out of St. Helena, California. That's the Rico Abreu, Curb Agajanian Racing, Whiskey Myers, Messina Valley Transportation, El Bandito, Yankee Tequila, Hunt Family, number 24 of Rico Abreu. Rico Abreu in car number 24. And pulling up next to him on the left side there, out of Apollo, Pennsylvania, the Mercedes Motorsports, Ducati of Pittsburgh, Mike Cleck Paving, Diesel Property Management, Mab Motorsports, number 42 of Cy Lynch. Cy Lynch in car number 42. On the outside of that front row from Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane Race with Mike Curb, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maximum Race Wheels, number 49. That's the five-time World of Outlaws champion, the Big Cat, Brad Sweet. Brad Sweet in car number 49. 
Also on the speedway, rolling now, getting fired off. Out of Sunnyvale, Texas, the High Breeder Foundation Service, truenorth.bet, cigarpart.ca, high performance lubricants number 15H. That's Sam Hafer Teep Jr. Sam Hafer Teep Jr. in the 15H. And just in front of him, coming off of turn number two now, we have the driver out of Visalia, California, the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, B&L Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers, Ridge Development number eight of Corey Eliason. Corey Eliason in car number eight. Final driver get pushed onto the speedway here in this dirt draft hot lap session. Comes to us out of Jacksonville, Oregon. It's the Boss Superstore, Shane DeWall Trucking, Aztec USA, Carbon Works, Canopy Country, number 18T. That's Tanner Holmes. Tanner Holmes in car number 18T. Green lights come on for dirt draft hot lap session. And number two, the best time right now is 12.537 set by Tanner Thorson. Brad Sweet immediately at the top of the speed charts at a 12.419. He's followed by Cy Lynch at a 12.469. And now Sweet goes better on his second lap at 12.342. Cy Lynch actually passes him now and is at the top of the speed charts at 12.342. Getting very close to an 11 second lap time here at RPM Speedway. And Brad Sweet makes it even closer, 12.187 as the checkered flag flies here in Dirt Draft Hot Lap Session number two. So after those couple of laps, Brad Sweet finds himself at the top of the speed charts. 12.187 is the lap time set by the Napa Auto Parts 49. Behind him is the 42 of Cy Lynch at 12.342. Tanner Thorson from the first group is third quick along with Casey Kane in fourth. And Rico Abreu in that group at 12.663 is fifth quick so far. Group number three of Dirt Draft Hot Laps coming out of the racetrack now. They are led out by the driver that has won the only ever 410 wing sprint car race to ever be ran here at RPM Speedway prior to tonight. The driver is out of Bryant, Arkansas. That's the Tiny's Truck Repair, Brewer Trucking, Frame Dragon Design, KNP Painting, Clifton Services Incorporated, number G6 of Cody Gardner. Cody Gardner in car number G6. Pulling up next to him out of Clovis, California. That's the Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, Driven to Save Lives, number 14 of Corey Day. Corey Day in car number 14. And behind them, the driver to Godly, Texas, the Davis Drug and Alcohol, Skyview Corporation, Lightning Wings, Smiley's Race Products, Estes Family Racing, number 74E. That's Claude Estes III. Claude Estes III in car number 74E. Another one of the drivers making his debut here at RPM Speedway, rolling down the back straightaway. At a liberal Kansas, the Bybee Electric Trucks Plus, Mel Hamilton Racing, Donaut Racing Engines, number 36 of Jason Martin. Jason Martin in car number 36. And tonight's DJ of the night here with Kubota High Limit Racing rolling down the back straightaway. He's out of Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Wrecker, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com, number one of Brenham Crouch. Brenham Crouch in car number one. Last night's feature winner at the dirt track at Texas Motor Speedway rolls down the back straightaway now. At a Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, the JNS Classics Valley Supply, c and Rigging Class 1 Transportation number 39M, it's Anthony Macri. Anthony Macri in car number 39M. And your final car in this session from Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces Up Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Styers Racing, CSR Garage, Premier Machine number 52, that's Blake Hahn. Blake Hahn in car number 52 as we go green. Dirt Draft Hot Lap Session number 3. Coming across the screen now, so far the fastest is Anthony Macri at fifth quick at 12.652. Corey Day now jumps up to third at 12.524. And now Brenham Crouch is third at 12.486.
Checkered's out, yellow's on. Fastest driver in that session. He is the DJ of the night with Kubota High Limit Racing. The young driver from right here in Texas, it's Brenham Crouch at 12.486. The lap time still to beat right now at 12.187. Brad Sweet in car number 49. Cy Lynch is second quick at 12.342. Then Crouch, then Corey Day fourth at 12.495. And Tanner Thorson is fifth in car number 88 at 12.537. More cars rolling out of the racetrack here for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. They are let out by the driver out of Kokomo, Indiana. The Chalk Stick Torsion Bars Town Line Variety. Indy Race Parts High Performance Lubricants Number 9P. That's the law firm Parker Price Miller. Parker Price Miller in car number 9P. Pulling up next to him out of Canton, Illinois, the NOS Energy Rink Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, Logan Contractor Supply, Elliott's Custom Trailers, number 55 of Chris Windham. Chris Windham in car number 55. And from Lebanon, Indiana, the True Timber Camo, Nice Crete and Landis Block, GRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants number five, that's Spencer Baston. Spencer Baston in car number five. Behind that first row of cars and getting pushed off now from Myerstown, Pennsylvania. The m and Painting and Construction, McGrewBid.com, BAPS Paint, Livewire Customs number 19, that's Brent Marks. Brent Marks in car number 19. And from El Paso, Texas, the Taco Casa, Massive Valley Transportation, Berkham Contracting, Scott Baylor Racing Engines, number J2. That's John Carney II. John Carney II in car number J2. Our fifth session of Dirt Draft Hot Laps pacing around the RPM Speedway right now. We got one more session after that, and we'll get right into Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. Green flag comes on. Checkered flag comes out. We've got a driver that nearly got to the top of the speed charts, but he ends up in the second position overall, and that is Spencer Baston. And as drivers come to complete their final lap, Spencer Baston, second quickest overall at 12.320. Still fastest overall is Brad Sweet at 12.187. Baston now second. Cy Lynch is third at 12.342. Brent Marks is fourth and 19 at 12.444. And your DJ of the night, Brenham Crouch, is fifth at 12.486. Final set of cars rolling onto the racetrack now for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. They are let out by the driver out of Seagaville, Texas. That's the DFWUrethane.com. Texas Aeroplastics, Harville Racing, Ron Sisk Engines, number 85 of Colby Stubblefield. Colby Stubblefield in car number 85. Pulling up next to him, that is the current points leader with the Kubota High Limit Racing. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number 7BC of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. Tyler Courtney in car number 7BC. And from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sick Guard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Deathridge Optical, number 5T, it's Ryan Timms. Ryan Timms in car number 5T. Pushing off behind him out of Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Reading Foundation, Hager Realty, number 26 of Zeb Wise. Zeb Wise in car number 26. And rolling down the back stretch now out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pels Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Bar and Weinbrenner Motor Services, Lawrence's Body Shop, number 1A, that's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in car number 1A. Final car in this session, rolling down the back straightaway. Out of Alice Springs, Northern Territory, Australia. The Mobile One, Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock Transportation. Number 83, it's James McFadden. James McFadden in car number 83. Final hot lap session of the night for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. 
about to be underway. The lap time to beat 12.187 set by Brad Sweet back in session number two. coming across the screen now. Nobody able to jump into the top 10 as of yet now. As I say that, Tyler Courtney up to sixth position at 12.486. James McFadden ninth quick. And now we got Tyler Courtney moving to the top five at fourth quick at 12.360. McFadden joins him in the top five at 12.397. He's fifth overall. Yellow's out, or sorry, checkered's out, yellow's on as we finish up Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Fastest overall in Dirt Draft Hot Laps is Brad Sweet in car number 49 at 12.187. He's followed by Spencer Baston in car number 5 at 12.320. Cy Lynch in 42 at 12.342. Tyler Courtney fourth quick at 12.345. And James McFadden at 12.397. That's the top five fastest in Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Then Zeb Wise, Brett Marks, Ryan Timms, Brenham Crouch, and Corey Day. Next up will be Capital Custom Trailers Qualifying. Capital Renegade Custom Trailers and Coaches is the number one Renegade Toter Home dealer and the number one Intech Trailer dealer. No one sells more Toter Homes or Intech Trailers than Capital Renegade Custom Trailers and Coaches. If you are in the market for a Toter Home or a trailer, trust the people that are in the pits with you and that support the sport. Check out their complete lineup at www.capitalrenegade.com. So, Capital Custom Trailer Qualifying coming up next. How it's going to work, two cars on the track at a time. They will go for two laps around the RPM Speedway. And those times, the best time of the two, will set them up for their heat races later on this evening. Now, since this is technically this is the second ever winged 410 sprint car race ever here at RPM Speedway, but the first one was with the ASCS Elite Outlaw Sprint Cars. They do not qualify. They use a pill draw style format to set the heat races. So we will set a new track record or establish a track record here tonight at the quarter mile at RPM Speedway here in Crandall, Texas. As it looks like our first two qualifiers are getting pushed off now to begin Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. First two cars onto the racetrack. Out of Monrovia, Indiana, the Avanti windows and doors, big spring car wash, water treatment by design, Jen Moore Flores, number 13, it's Justin Peck, and also on the racetrack, out of Minden, Nevada, the Smith Titanium Factory Kane, Maxwell Race Oil, Missy Valley Transportation, Hall of Vodka, number 88 of Tanner Thorson. They took the green that time by. This will be the first lap for Justin Peck in car number 13. The lap time will be at a 12.423, 1-2-4-2-3, and for Thorson, it's 12.520, 1-2-5-2-0. Coming around for the second time by for Justin Peck. And he will not improve. It's a 12.520. And for Tanner Thorson, he slows down a little bit as well at 12.524. Fastest so far, Justin Peck at 12.423. Next two cars rolling trackside. Out of Calera, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, LS Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, Donnie Ray Crawford, Legacy Foundation, number 88R of Ryder LaPlante. Also on the speedway, out of St. Mary's, New South Wales, Australia, the Dirty Air Ice Performance, Christensen Family Foundation, Donna's Pool and Patio, Haas Hollings, number 25, the Madman, Kerry Matson. Ryder LaPlante. A winner of two restricted micro features here in the past at RPM Speedway. Lap number one for him is going to be a 13.228. And for Madsen, now he's third quick at a 12.527. 12.527. LaPlante runs the middle, gets to the top on the exit of turn number four. Lap number two, it will improve at 13.029. And for Kerry Madsen, he will slow down at 12.577. Next two onto the racetrack, led out by the driver of Elam Claw Washington, the Casey Kane race wheel, Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shots, Kane Spray and Print, number nine, it's Casey Kane. And from Sykes to Missouri, the Inland Rigging Wooden Auto Display, Marshan Cattle Company, Shurkin LLC, MP Environmental, number 73, 100%, Hunter Schoenberg. 
Schoenberg takes the green that time. Casey Kane coming around for lap number one. Was decently fast earlier on in hot laps. Lap number one is going to be to the top. 12-4-0-8 for Casey Kane on lap number one. And for Schoenberg, he goes to the top. 12-3-89. 1-2-3-8-9 for Hunter Schoenberg on lap number one. Casey Kane slows down on lap two at 12.635. And for Schoenberg, he is going to slow down, but he's still fastest so far at 12.389. Hunter Schoenberg, your new fastest driver in car number 73. On the track next out of Jacksonville, Oregon, it's the Boss Superstore, Shane DeWall Trucking, SDEC USA, Carbon Works LLC, Canopy Country number 18T, it's Tanner Holmes. And also on the racetrack, the five-time World of Outlaws champion at the Grass Valley, California, the Casey Kane Raceway, Mike Curb, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maxwell Racewells number 49, that's the big cat, Brad Sweet. Brad Sweet in car number 49. Sweet the fastest overall in dirt draft hot laps earlier on. Lap one for Tanner Holmes is going to be six quick at 12.748-12748. Sweet tries the middle in turn number four. He goes fourth quick at 12.446-12446. Second time by the line for Tanner Holmes. He will improve. He stays seventh quick though at 12.694. And for Brad Sweet on lap two, he goes to the top. 12245. 12245 to the top for Brad Sweet. On the track next out of Sunnyvale, Texas, the High Breeder Foundation Service, True TrueNorth.bet, Scarport.ca, High Performance Lubricant, number 15H at Sam Hefer Teep Jr. He's joined on the racetrack by the driver of Apollo, Pennsylvania, the Mosides Motorsports, Ducati of Pittsburgh, Mike Leck Paving, Diesel Property Management, Mav Motorsports, number 42. It's Cy Lynch. Cy Lynch in car number 42. Cy Lynch last night making just his second 410 start of the season in Texas. Here comes Sam Hafer Team Jr. He's seventh quick on lap one at 12.665. And for Cy Lynch, he's fifth quick at 12.491. Hafer Team, a winner here with the ASCS Gulf South region in 2018. Lap number two is going to be better. Eighth quick at 12.563. And for Cy Lynch, how about second quick? 12.380. One, two, three, eight, zero. Second quick for Cy Lynch. From Visalia, California, the Commercial Edge, New Direction Transport, BNL Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers, Ridge Development Number Eight. Here's Corey Eliason, and also on the racetrack from St. Helena, California, the Rico Avery Curb, Agajanian Racing, Whiskey Myers, Machine Valley Transportation, El Bandido, Yankee Tequila, Hunt Family Number Twenty Four. It's Rico Abreu. Both of these drivers making their RPM Speedway debut here tonight. Corey Eliason off of turn number four to the white flag. He'll be 10th quick at 12.873 on lap number one. And for Rico, he is 11th quick at 13.021. Last night, Eliason 10th in the feature at Texas. Rico was 7th. Eliason on lap two. He's going to go a little bit slower at 13.138. And for Rico, he's better. Passes Eliason. He's 10th quick at 12.778. The winner of the only other winged 410 sprint car race to ever be held here at RPM Speedway hits the track now. Out of Bryant, Arkansas, the tiny truck repair, Brewer Trucking, Frame Dragon Design, KMP Painting, Clifton Services Incorporated, number G6, it's Cody Gardner. And also on the speedway, the 18 year old driver out of Clovis, California, the Sander Engineering, Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, driven to save lives, number 14, it's Corey Day. Corey Day in car number 14. Lap number one for Cody Gardner is going to be 13th quick at 13.385. And for Corey Day, he's seventh quick at 12.525. Cody Gardner losing an engine Friday night with the World of Outlaws at I-55. Drove back to Arkansas, changed the engine. He's here tonight. He is 14th quick, 13.122. And for Corey Day, he's slower on lap two. First lap better at 12.525. From Godley, Texas, the Davis Drug and Alcohol, Skyview Corporation, Lightning Wings, Smiley's Race Products, Estes Family Racing, number 74E. Here's Claude Estes III. Claude Estes III in car number 74E. And from Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces of Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Styers Racing, CSR Garage, Premier Machine, number 52. It's Blake Hahn. Blake Hahn in 52. Claude Estes III. Running a 360 engine here tonight against Kubota Highlander Racing. He is 15th quick on lap one at 13.411 for Blake Hahn. He's 13th at 12.883. Blake Hahn, third here with ASCS Gulf South Region in 2018. 
Juan Estes comes across the line. He is slower on lap number two for Blake Hahn. He's better up to 11th fastest at 12.738. 12738. The feature winner from last night at the dirt track at Texas Motor Speedway hits the racetrack now. We got a little bit of an issue here as Claude Estes and Blake Hahn both missing the track exit on the back straightaway. But we are talking about Anthony Macri, the driver out of Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, driving the JNS Classics Valley Supply CD Rigging Class 1 Transportation Entry, and also on the speedway with him at a Liberal Kansas, the Bybee Electric Trucks Plus, Mel Hamilton Racing, Donaut Racing Engines 36. It's Jason Martin. So what we're going to do here is have Macri and Martin kind of pace around here till turn number four to not allow them to build up more speed than the rest of their competitors when they came out of the chute in turn number four. So Macri hits the gas there. Martin will do the same. And those two are underway. They'll get the green flag this time by. Anthony Macri, his win last night, the second of his Kubota Highland Racing career. The other one last year at the 34 Raceway in Dubuque, Iowa. Jason Martin, last year's ASCS national champion with 12 360 sprint car wins to his credit. Lap one for Macri is going to be 10th quick at 12.669-12669. Lap number one for Jason Martin is 16th quick at 13.038. And for Anthony Macri on lap number two, he will go a little bit faster, still 10th quick at 12.595. Second time by the line for Martin is going to be slower. He'll take the first one at 13.038, 16th quick. From Kokomo, Indiana, the Chalk Stick Torsion Bars, Town Line Variety, Indy Race Parts, High Performance Lubricants Number 9P. That's the law firm, Parker Price Miller. And also on the Speedway out of Canton, Illinois, the NOS Energy Drink, Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, Logan Contractor Supply, Elliott's Custom Trailers Number 55, Chris Windham. Both of these drivers making their RPM Speedway debut here tonight. Parker Price Miller, ninth in the Kubota Highland Racing point standings coming into this evening. Lap one is going to be 15th quick at 12.919, 12.919. Lap number one for Wyndham, he goes up to 14th quick at 12.845, 12.845. And for PPM, he'll go up to 13th quick at 12.741. Wyndham looking for improvement here on lap number two. He will not get it. He'll stay 15th quick at 12.845. From El Paso, Texas, the Taco Casa, Missy Valley Transportation, Berkham Contracting, Scott Baylor Racing Engines number J2, it's John Carney the second, and joining him on the racetrack at 11 in Indiana, the True Timber Camo, Nice Creek Landis Block, JRC Transportation, High Performance Lubricants number five, it's Spencer Baston, and a little bit of an issue there with one of the push trucks getting off the speedway, and that will slow things down here for these two drivers. And they get him up to power now. John Carney, the second, 19th here with the ASCS Gulf South region back in 2017. Was involved in a nasty accident last night at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track that had also involved Wayne Johnson. And we wish Wayne Johnson well as he went to the hospital last night with some injuries to his arm. Really hope that Wayne heals up quick. Hope to see him back to the racetrack here very soon. Spencer Basin comes into the night fifth in the high limit racing point standings as John Carney goes 20th quick on lap 113-145, based in the 11th quick at 12.676. Carney coming around turn number four, and he will go to a 13 4 28. First lap was better. Lap number two for Basted was also slower, so he'll take the first one at 12.676. He is 11th fastest. From Myerstown, Pennsylvania, here's the MM Painting and Construction with GrooBid.com. Babs Paint, Livewire Customs number 19, it's Brent Marks. And your DJ of the night out of Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Record, Five Nights Truck Accessories, ShopTruckParts.com, number one of Brenham Crouch. Brenham Crouch in car number one. Coming around for lap number one is Brent Marks. He is third in points entering the night. He's 11th quick on lap one at 12.655. Brent M. Crouch on lap number one is going to be 21st quick at 13.100. What? 13.100. Lap number two for Brent Marks is going to be slower. It's a 12.949. He'll take the first one at 12.655. And for Crouch, he is slower as well. He'll take the first one at 13.100.
From Angola, Indiana, here's the Sun Dollar Restoration for performance. Sage Fruit, Race Redeem Foundation, Hanger Realty, number 26 of Zeb Wise. And out of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop, number 1A, it's Jacob Allen. Jacob Allen in the 1A. Last night, fourth in the feature for Jacob Allen at Texas. And for Zeb Wise, he was eighth in the feature. Lap one for Zeb is 19th quick at a 12.881. For Jacob Allen, he is second quick on lap one, 12.365. Nobody's been in the top five for a while. Jacob Allen just did it. Zeb Wise, 15th quick on lap number two. And for Jacob Allen, he's going to slow down to a 12.741. Whatever he did on lap number one, he needs to remember that for later on. That was good. He is second quick at 12.365. Four drivers left to qualify here with Kubota Highlander Racing. Next one onto the racetrack is out of Alice Springs, Northern Territories, Australia. The Mobile One Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock Transportation, number 83 of James McFadden. And behind him out of Seagaville, Texas, the DFW Urethane.com, Texas Aeroplastics, Harville Racing, Ron Sisk Engines, number 85, Colby Stubblefield. McFadden in his first Kubota Highland race appearance last night finished up in the fifth position of the feature. Lap one for him is going to be 18th quick at 12.762. And for Stubblefield, he's 26th quick at 13.140. Coming around turn number four for McFadden. He will go faster, 16th quick at 12.711. And for Colby Stubblefield, he jumps up to 22nd quick at 12.994. Final two qualifiers hitting the racetrack now. This guy was not with us last night at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track. Out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sick Guard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Death Ridge Optical 5T, Ryan Timms, and the current Kubota Highland Racing points leader hits the racetrack. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, LH Custom Critters and Carts, number 7, BC of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. Ryan Timms off of turn number four, lap number one for him will be 21st quick at 12.868, 12868 for Tyler Courtney on lap number one. He will be 23rd quick at 12.912. Lap two for Timms, he tries the middle off of turn number four and it will work, he'll go 17th quick for 12.734. For Tyler Courtney, he will go 13th quick at 12.656. So that is it for Capital Custom Trailers qualifying. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, your fast time qualifier tonight in car number 49, the big cat, Brad Sweet. Brad Sweet, 12.245. Jacob Allen, second quick. Silence, third quick. Hunter Schoenberg, fourth. Casey Kane, fifth. Justin Peck, sixth. Tanner Thorson, seventh. Corey Day, eighth. Kerry Madsen, ninth. And Sam Hayferteep, Jr., rounding out the top 10. We'll take a quick commercial break here on Flow Racing and we'll come back with modified hot laps here from RPM Speedway. Welcome back, everybody. Will Riggs, the voice of RPM Speedway here, getting you going. The modifieds, the big blocks out on the track, getting their hot laps in. Everybody, make sure you check it out. What we got going on, the number 60 of William Gold just flying by right there. The 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. out on the track. The number 16, we got going on 16 and 16 JR. That is father and son, Mike and Chris Hannigan. So uh, got some fans family action going on down here at the racetrack. We'll get all your sponsors for all your modifieds going on as we get the heat races started here a little bit. We want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and especially the Kubota High Limits 
Sprint Car Series as they came to town here tonight to put on one heck of a show. And guys, you will not be disappointed as you kick back and get ready for some great race and action here at RPM Speedway. Make sure you head on over to the snack bar over here. They have, uh, first of all, street tacos tonight that I had some of those street tacos. They are phenomenal. So make sure you get some of those. They got some uh, uh fried boneless chicken pieces with uh, gravy and french fries can't turn that down and of course if you're at rpm speedway how can you enjoy the night without a walking taco and a cold beer so head on over to uh get you some cold refreshment i see steven neighbors over there he's walking by he's getting some chow on but he's right there by that uh by the the liquor stand as i like to call it they got all kinds of cold drink for you over there you got cold beer mixed drinks margaritas from what i hear as well so head on over there Get your refreshments in as we got uh, round two of modified heat laps making their way onto the track. You got the 28B of Wendell Bolden flying right there in front of you as they get on the track. It's going to be a good night of racing, everybody. We are excited to be here on a Sunday night, and we are excited that you guys came out on a Sunday night ready to rock and roll with us. Yeah, they're going to get them cranked up here as they get the heat races. Or sorry, hot laps started. Round two for the Modifieds here. Second round of the modified hot laps going on. One more round to go, and then uh, it's going to be racing here at RPM Speedway. We appreciate you guys once again for coming out. We'll have, uh, of course, we'll have our national anthem and everything else to do before we uh, before we get uh, get to actual racing. So we want to thank everybody for all that. We got brand new flags flying on the infields, and uh, we just want to. Uh, Pay homage to that here before we get racing. We'll do that here in just a little bit. So make sure you're ready for that. And then we got one more. We got one more set of Honeycutt Sand and Gravels and Smiley's Racing modified hot laps as they make their way on to the track. One, two, three, four. Coming out for the final set of Honeycutt Sand and Gravels, Smiley's Racing modified heat uh, hot laps. Coming onto the track for you right now. White flag waves on the final lap of the final set of hot laps for the Smiley's Racing Honeycutt Sand and Gravel Modifieds here tonight. We'll have actual green flag racing coming up here in just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to throw it back over to Chase and the High Limits team and, and uh, let them take it from here. And I'll be back when the heat races begin for your Honeycutt Sand and Gravel Smiley's Racing modifies. Let's take another quick break on flowracing.com. We'll be back here with opening ceremonies at RPM Speedway here in Crandall, Texas.
Fresco Lighting is proud to be an official partner of Highland Racing. As the world's leader in sports lighting, Musco's advanced solutions are featured everywhere, from local tracks to the biggest NASCAR and Formula One circuits around the globe. On behalf of the entire Musco team, we hope you enjoy tonight's event. Racing Electronics is the number one company in race communications and the official race communications provider for High Limit. Racing Electronics has over 30 years of experience and serves every major form of auto racing. And the exclusive Racing Electronics Race Receiver Pro is the micro receiver of choice for the top High Limit drivers. Learn more by calling RE today at 800-272-7111 or visit them at racingelectronics.com. Jake's Golf Carts, America's home for custom carts, has been supporting dirt track racing for over 25 years and is proud to be a sponsor of High Limit Racing. Jake's Golf Carts offer racing discounts to all race teams and race fans with nationwide shipping available. Give Jake's Golf Carts a call at 717-899-6699 and check them out online at www.jakesgolfcarts.com. Make sure you tell them High Limit Racing sent you for a special racing discount. Texas-based band Whiskey Myers seamlessly fuses gritty blues, rock, and Americana, creating an authentic and original sound. From humble beginnings playing at local hockey tonks to headlining major festivals and topping the charts, Whiskey Myers' journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of Southern music. While one driver will visit Whiskey Myers' victory lane tonight, you should visit their website for tour dates, tickets, and merchandise at whiskeymyers.com. K1 Race Gear is proud to be the official safety gear provider of High Limit Racing. More top-level drivers across all forms of motorsport trust K1 Race Gear with their safety product needs. Whether it's premium custom suits, gloves, or shoes, K1 Race Gear has you covered. Find out more at www.k1racegear.com and follow us along at K1 Race Gear on all social media platforms. K1 Race Gear, the racer's brand of safety gear and apparel. Race fans, are you ready to experience the ultimate in equipment solutions? Head to your nearest Kubota dealership today and discover a world of top quality products, expert advice, and exceptional service. From tractors to utility vehicles, Kubota offers a wide range of reliable options to meet your needs. Don't wait any longer. Visit a Kubota dealership now and let them help you find the perfect solution for your equipment needs. Race fans, show your support for Shop Rico with exclusive Rico Abreu merchandise. Get 10% off all ShopRico.com gear online with code RACER24. Don't miss out. Rev up your style today. Well, we are very close to getting underway with competitive action here at RPM Speedway here in Crandall, Texas for race number six of 2024 with Kubota High Limit Racing. We've got hot laps done presented by Dirt Draft. We've got Capital Custom Trailers qualifying in the books as well as the modified hot laps in the books upcoming. We've got four heat races. We've got our dash draw. We've got modified heat races. We've got the Kubota High Limit FK Rodden's dash, the B main, then we'll get into the modified feature, our Durst Dice Roll, then the Kubota High Limit main event for 30 laps, $12,000 to win and $1,200 to start. Looks like we are just about set to get underway with opening ceremonies down in the infield. So for that, let's go downstairs and hear from Tony Laporta for the first time tonight. Tony? Chase, it is a beautiful Sunday night here in Crandall, Texas at the RPM Speedway. What an awesome qualifying session we just wrapped up. And you said it, we are getting ready to kick things off with the sixth round of the 2024 Kubota High Limit Racing season. So at this time, fans here at RPM Speedway, we ask that if you are able to please rise and remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of tonight's national anthem.
Well, Chase, with that, opening ceremonies are complete, and we are ready to officially kick off the sixth night of racing here in 2024 with Kubota High Limit Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to go here at RPM Speedway. TJ Forged Wheels was started by Taylor TJ Weld to build the best, no compromises, forged wheels for high performance motorsports. We only build forged aluminum wheels using proprietary tooling and exclusive manufacturing processes that clearly elevate our wheels above the competition. Product quality, product safety, and exceptional customer service is what we do. We lead where others follow. Don't settle for close enough. TJ Forged. Here we go with TJ Ford's heat race number one. Let's take a look at the lineup for this one. On the pole, the dry ride of Enum Claw Washington. It's the Casey Kane race with Mike Kerr, Brumos Collection, Factory Kane Shocks, Kane Screen, but number nine, it's Casey Kane. And outside of him, out of St. Mary's, New South Wales, Australia, the Dirty Air, Ike's Performance, Christensen Family Foundation, Donna's Pool and Patio, Haas Hollage, number 25, the Madman, Kerry Madsen. Row number two on the inside, that's where you'll find your current points leader with Kubota High Limit Racing. Out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the NOS Energy Drink, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, number 7 BC, Sunshine, Tyler, Courtney. And your fast time qualifier tonight at a Grass Valley, California, will start from fourth. It's the Casey Kane Race with Mike Kerb, Napa Auto Parts, Brumos Collection, Maximum Race Souls, number 49, the Big Cat, Brad Sweet. Row number three on the inside out of Alice Springs, Northern Territories, Australia. The Mobile One Toyota Racing Development, Roth Enterprises, HR Livestock Transportation, number 83 of James McFadden. And outside of him, out of St. Helena, California, the Rico A. Hebrew Kerr by Janian Racing, Whiskey Myers, Messina Valley Transportation, El Bandito, Yankee Tequila, Hunt Family, number 24, Rico Abreu. And your final row on the inside of the Calera, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Truck Driving Academy, LS Construction and Roofing, High Plains Building Division, Victory Fuel, DRC Legacy Foundation, number 88R, Ryder LaPlante. And your final starter from El Paso, Texas, the Taco Casa, Messina Valley Transportation, Berkham Contracting, Scott Baylor Racing Engines, number J2, John Carney the second. Eight laps, the top five transferring with the winner and the fastest qualifier going to the dash. And for the first time tonight, we're going to hear a song from Burnham Crouch's High Roller Playlist. Looking back at it now, this town's been too good to us. Race held on the weekends, yeah. Man, what we were thinking when we said we'd leave it in a cloud of dust. This town's been too good to us. Brenham Crouch with a little Dylan Scott there. And I feel like this song kind of made sense. He is from Texas. I know Texas isn't a town, but I'm sure Texas has been good to him as well. As we are ready to go green, this time by TJ Ford's heat race number one. It's the second ever winged 410 race ever at RPM Speedway. Ready to go green this time by off of turn number four. Off a of 4-3 wide already for the lead down the front straightaway as Casey Kane kind of spun the tires on the start there. Kerry Madsen goes to the top side of the racetrack. He'll have the lead down the back straightaway. Tyler Courtney and Brad Sweet split the number nine of Casey Kane. He falls back into the fourth position as Sweet's trying to get up there. He's trying to, oh, Casey Kane flying through the infield, nearly takes out the banners down there in turn number one. Good race going on for the second spot. It's Tyler Courtney on the bottom. Brad Sweet going up to the high side. They're both tracking down Kerry Madsen. Brad Sweet looking for the the ace in the hole here tonight. If he can get the win from fourth, he will be guaranteed the pole position in tonight's dash. Kerry Madsen still with the early race lead. Here comes Tyler Courtney, which sideways nearly spins the 7 BC around in the middle of three and four. It's going to cost him because Brad Sweet's next to him down the front straight away. 
Brad Sweet to the outside. Nick cannot make the move there as Tyler Courtney's got good grip off the bottom of the racetrack in turn number two. Sweet works back to the outside. Meanwhile, these two guys still keeping up with the 25 to carry Madsen. Madsen now drops the 25 back to the inside of the racetrack, picks up the front wheels and tries to pull away a little bit. Fourth, fourth place position is up for grabs as well. James McFadden has it. Here comes Rico Abreu. He's working on the back bumper of the Roth Motorsports number 83. Race is not done yet for the race lead. Tyler Courtney might have something to say about this thing. Trying to punch his ticket into the dash after a poor qualifying effort earlier on this evening. Twin sticks in the air. Two to go in TJ Ford's heat race number one. Kerry Matson around the inside of the racetrack pulls away again. Now Brad Sweet has that second position down the back straightaway. Can he get by Kerry Matson down the front straightaway? Here's the white flag, and Sweet is right there. One lap to go in TJ Ford's heat race number one. Brad Sweet looking for the ace in the hole. They work down the back straightaway. Matson goes to the bottom, might have one last run for Brad Sweet. Tries to turn it down the hill, but Kerry Matson will win TJ Ford's heat race number one. We got one into the wall in turn three after the leaders had taken the checkered. Casey Kane has stopped looking the wrong way, but your race winner and heading to tonight's dash, the 25 of Kerry Madsen. He'll be joined in the dash by your second place finisher, Brad Sweet. Third, the 7BC of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. Fourth, the 83 of James McFadden. And your final transfer, the 24 of Rico Abreu. The rest of the field, John Carney, Ryder LaPlante, and Casey Kane will head to tonight's B main event. Looks like Brad Sweet is going to talk to Tony LaPorta after an exciting finish there in that heat race, Tony. DJ Forge, heat race number one comes to an end. Brad Sweet will take off that bright blue and yellow Nap Auto Parts race helmet. And Brad, we've been hearing a lot of good stuff about RPM Speedway. It was fun to watch that heat race. Was it fun to go from fourth to second? I really wish I could have got the win there. Uh, obviously, with the incentive of, you know, being the fast guy, you know, and winning the, winning the heat, you get the front of the dash. But just came up a little short, you know, Sunshine uh, got in there on the bottom. I really wanted to get down there, but just couldn't. So I had to kind of commit to the top there. And Kerry was covering the track pretty good. But all in all, happy, had, had fun there. But uh, got the Nap Auto Parts car uh, pretty fast tonight. So hopefully we can uh, get a win. We've been right on the knocking on the door, you know, this high limit series. But we uh, got to get a little better to get a win. Brad Sweet with a podium finish last night at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track chase. He gets out of here with a second place run in TJ Forged heat race number one. My racing components are built with the precision of skilled machinists and the common sense of winning racers. Located in the heart of central Pennsylvania, you can find us every week participating in the sport we love. You race, we race, let's race together. DMI Racing Components. DMI, heat race number two on the racetrack. Let's look at the lineup for this one. On the pole, the driver out of Monrovia, Indiana. That's the Avanti windows and doors, big spring car wash, water treatment by design, Jen Moore Florist, number 13. It's Justin Peck. And outside of him, out of Sunnyvale, Texas, the High Breeder Foundation Service, truenorth.betcigarport.ca, high performance lubricants, 15H, is Sam Hafer Team Jr. Row number two on the inside of 11 in Indiana, the True Timber Camo, Nice Crete and Landis Block, JRC Transportation, high performance lubricants, number five of Spencer Baston. Outside of him, it's the driver of Hanover, Pennsylvania, the Pell's Tire Service, RF Knox Company, the Auto Barn, Weinbrenner Motor Service, Lawrence's Body Shop 1A, Jacob Allen, and inside of row number three, out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Sit Guard Engine Oil, Hample Oil, Mystic Lubricants, Western Flyer Express, Death Ridge Optical 5T, Ryan Timms, outside of him out of Canton, Illinois. That's the NOS Energy Drink, Zip Bonds, TK Concrete, Logan Contractor Supply, Elliott's Custom Trailers, number 55, Chris Windham. And your final row, starting on the inside of Liberal, Kansas, the Bybee Electric Trucks Plus, Mel Hamilton Racing, Donut Racing Engine 36. Jason Martin, and your final starter out of Godley, Texas, the Davis Drug and Alcohol, Skyview Corporation, Lightning Wing, Smiley's Race Products, number 74E, Claude Estes III. Let's listen in one more time here to Brenham Crouch's High Roller Playlist. I tried so hard. You cannot go wrong with a little Lincoln Park. I don't care what day it is. I don't care if it's Sunday. I don't care if it's Friday, Monday, Tuesday. It doesn't matter. Lincoln Park's always good. We go green flag racing here. D-Mai, he racing number two. Side by side to turn number one. Hey, for Teep trying to chop the nose on the 13 of Justin Peck, and it might work as Hey, for Teep will nose ahead with the race lead into turn number three. Spencer Basin slings the five car to the outside, trying to find a way by the number 13 of Justin Peck for the second spot. They go side by side down the front straightaway. Almost three wide. Look at Baston trying to get a little banana splitty right there off of turn number two. Can't make the pass there. He gets by Peck, but cannot get by the 15-H of Sam Hayford Jr. 
based in looking extremely good. Came into the night fifth in the Kubota Highlander Racing point standings, and he's had some good runs. Last night was the first time based in had missed the top ten in a Kubota Highlander Racing main event this year. Big slider for the race lead. Based in right across the nose of Sam Hayford, Team Junior for the top spot. What a move right there from Spencer Bainston to take the race lead away and put himself into the dash. Jacob Allen now makes the, the uh, pass on the 13 car of Justin Peck, and Jacob Allen rolling the bottom. When have you heard that before? Chris Wyndham trying to get the Knicks as well. Wyndham holds on to that final transfer spot right now in the 55. Wyndham now makes the pass on Justin Peck on the inside of turn number two. Chris Wyndham's now up to fourth. Chris Wyndham, Clint Moyles, Carson Perkins, the rest of the crew, they were up till 6 o'clock in the morning at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track putting a brand new car together for Chris Wyndham for tonight. As they come around, two laps to go for Spencer Bates in the race for second, not over yet. Sammy for Team Junior trying to hold off the number one A of Jacob Allen. Ryan Timms, the first car out of a transfer spot, trying to get up to Justin Peck, who has struggled a little bit here in this one as the white flag comes out for Baston. Baston runs the middle in turn number one. He's followed by Hayford for Team Allen, and Allen gets a little bit sideways on the inch with the turn number one. Ryan Timms might have something here. Final corner for the last transfer spot. Into turn number three. Timms goes to the top side. They'll come down to the checker. It's going to get close, but it's going to be Justin Peck just barely holding off Ryan Timms for the last transfer. Close stuff there for that last transfer spot, but there is no denying your winner in this one. It's the number five of Spencer based and he'll head to the dash. Sam Averty Jr. finishes second, also going to the dash, the 1A of Jacob Allen. 55 of Chris Wyndham finishes up fourth and Justin Peck hangs on to fifth in car number 13. Ryan Timms, Jason Martin, and Claude Estes will round out the field here in DMI heat race number two. Looks like Spencer Baston after an exciting race, he's gonna stop there and talk to Tony LaPorter after a third to first run. DMI heat number two comes to a close and Spencer Basin, he's got the helmet, he's got the headstock, he's got everything off. We talked to you last night, we're talking to you tonight, we're talking all the time. How's this number five feel right now? It feels a lot better right there. That was uh, that was sporty. Rolling in here today, looking at this place, it uh, looks, then you the shape of it overall, just I think will put on really, really good racing all night. So the people that are here, I, I'm happy for them because they're going to get to see a lot of good racing. Spencer Baston is having fun here at RPM Speedway Chase. We're having fun watching the race, and he picks up the victory in DMI heat number two. Comes to buying sprint car parts, there is only one place to shop, and that is BR Motorsports. With over 250,000 parts in stock, BR Motorsports only sells the best parts by the best manufacturers, like King Racing Products, MSD Ignition, Kaiser Wheels, and XXX Chassis. To find out more, visit brmotorsports.com, and don't forget to request a free copy of the new 300-page BR Super Parts catalog. BR Motorsports, the leaders in sprint car technology. Here we go with BR Motorsports heat race number three on the pole of this one. And a minute into that at the Smith Titanium Factory Kane, Maxwell Raceway, Missy Valley Transportation, Holovanka, Ron Gross Motorsports 88. It's Tanner Thorson and outside of him last night's main event winner from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, the JNS Classics, Valley Supply, CD Rigging, Class 1 Transportation, 39M, Anthony Macri. Row number two on the inside from Jacksonville, Oregon. The Boss Super Source Short, Shane DeWalt Trucking, S Tech USA, Carbon Works, Canopy Country 18T, Tanner Holmes. And outside of him from Apollo, Pennsylvania, the Mosides Motorsports become of Pittsburgh, Mike Clark Paving, Diesel Property Management number 42, Cy Lynch. And in the third row, the 52 of Blake Hahn out of Sepulpa, Oklahoma, the Aces Up Sim Sports, Smiley's Race Products, Glenn Styers Racing, CSR Garage Entry. And outside of him, it's the driver out of Visalia, California, Corey Eliason in the Commercial Edge, NDT, New Direction Transport, b &L Holdings, Elliott's Custom Trailers number 8. And your final starter in this one, the DJ of the night. Out of Lubbock, Texas, the High Plains Building Division, Carbon Safety Technologies, Lubbock Wrecker, Five Nights Truck Accessories, number 1, Brenham Crouch. Let's listen in one more time to his playlist. And we go back, this is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us, like the ceiling can't hold us. And we go back, this is the moment. Here we go to the green flag in BR Motorsports, heat race number three. Side-by-side start up front. Tanner Thorson goes to the bottom in turn number one. Anthony Macri tries to rip the outside of the racetrack, and it will work. Macri will have the lead down the back straightaway. Anthony Macri in the race lead on lap number one. Tanner Thorson running in second. Third is Cy Lynch. Fourth is Tanner Holmes. And a good battle going on for the fifth spot between Corey Eliason in the eight and Brennan Crouch in the one. Crouch runs the outside of the racetrack, and he has got the fifth position down into turn number three. 
Brennan Crouch now up to fifth and looking to size up the 18T of Tanner Holmes. We're going to have a battle for the lead on our hands here as well as here comes Tanner Thorson. He's going to shove it into turn number three and take the lead away for a moment. Tanner Thorson with a big move to get by the 39M of Anthony Macri. Macri crosses back underneath him, takes it right back. Now Macri misses the bottom right there and Tanner Thorson's going to try and take advantage of it. Thorson might see another slider to turn three. He's going to come up short though. Macri still got the top spot down the front straight away. Macri still got the top spot, but Tanner Thorson keeping him honest right now in that Ron Gross Motorsports number 88 car. Good battle going off of the last transfer spot. Corey Eliason trying to work back to the rear bumper of Brenham Crouch. They're right there as well with the 18T of Tanner Holmes. Crouch looking for the insurance policy down the front straightaway. Blake Hahn in the picture as well in the 52, a four-car battle for that last transfer spot. As they work down the front straightaway, Tanner Thorson nearly got around the outside of Anthony Macri. Works back to the inside, one and two. This time by white flag coming for the 39M of Anthony Macri. Macri slides up the racetrack, runs the slider line right there, but Tanner Thorson still right on his back bumper as they work back into turn number one. White flag is out. Thorson makes a mistake right there in the center of one and two, and it looks like it's going to be Macri's heat race to lose. Thorson goes to the top side to try and make something happen. Off the last corner, another close finish in this one. Tanner Thorson just comes up short. Anthony Macri will get the win in BR Motorsports heat race number one after a hard charge from Tanner Thorson, who finishes up in second. So Macri is heading to the dash in the third spot. It was Cy Lynch, that guy right there. He finishes up in third. He'll go to the dash as well. Brennan Crouch finishes fourth. Tanner Holmes fifth. Heading to the B, the eight of Corey Elias and the 52 of Blake Hahn. Tony Laporta, Cy Lynch in his third start of the season is able to put it in the dash with Kubota High Limit Racing here tonight. Yeah, you know he's got to be happy about that. He's losing the gloves. He's going to lose the helmet here. Cy Lynch, he uh, went out late in qualifying there and flew down, laid down a flyer third quick when qualifying was done. Cy Lynch, you go positive one spot, fourth to third. What do you think about this track down here at RPM Speedway? Oh, this is different for sure. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we feel pretty good. Uh, we made a slight adjustment there and tried something, and uh, we'll see what we can do moving on. They're making adjustments. They're working, and it's paying off so far. Chase BR Motorsports Heat Race number three sees Cy Lynch move on. Hunter's Performance has been manufacturing speed parts for the racing industry for over 65 years. Many of the winningest sprint cars in history are equipped with Winter's Quick Change Rears and Driveline components. Visit wintersperformance.com today. Here we go for winner's performance, heat race number four, the lineup. Let's get it to you on the pole of this one. The driver out of Clovis, California. It's the Sander Engineering Four Seas Construction, Autry Plumbing, Sincal, driven to save lives number 14, Corey Day. Outside of him, currently third in Kubota Highland Racing Point standings out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania. The m and Painting and Construction, McGrewbid.com. Baps Paint, Livewire Customs, number 19, it's Brent Marks. We're number two on the inside of Angola, Indiana, the Sun Dollar Restoration, Ford Performance, Sage Fruit, Race Reunion Foundation, Hager Realty, number 26, of Zeb Wise. Outside of him, out of Sykeston, Missouri, that is the that is the Inland Rigging Woodland Auto Display, Marshant Cattle Company, Shurkin LLC, MP Environmental number 73 of 100% Hunter Schurenberg. Row number three on the inside of the Kokomo, Indiana. The Chalk Sticks Torsion Bars, Townline Variety, Indy Race Parts, High Performance Lubricants 9P of Parker Price Miller. And outside of him from Seagaville, Texas, the DFWUrethane.com, Texas Aeroplastics, Harville Racing, Ron Sisk Engines number 85, Colby Stubblefield. And your final starter in this one comes to us out of Bryant, Arkansas, the Tiny Truck Repair, Brewer Trucking, Frame Dragon Design, KMP Painting, Clifton Services Incorporated, number G6, that's Cody Gardner. One more time, we'll get a listen to one of the songs on Brenham Crouch's High Roller Playlist. If you're listening to this and you want to know where you can get it, scan the QR code on your screen. Here we go as Metallica enter Sandman as we head to the green flag. Corey Day has the early lead here in this final heat race of the night. Brent Marks right there in the second position with Zeb Wise looking underneath him into turn number three. Hunter Schoenberg runs in fourth. As long as he stays in the top five, he'll be in tonight's dash. Parker Price Miller is fifth in the 9P. Racing for second, Zeb Wise has found a home on the inside of the racetrack and he's gonna take P2 down the back straightaway. Zeb Wise currently eighth in high limit racing point standings, trying to take that second spot away from the 19 of Brent Marks. 
Still side by side as it worked back into turn number one here at RPM Speedway. Zeb, whoa, that's a close call right there. Things getting tight as they worked off a of turn number two. Zeb Wise takes second away. And now Hunter Schoenberg is going to make the move on Brett Marks for the third spot. Hunter Schoenberg took him a night to really get going here in this Josh Ford Motorsports 73 car. Now makes a mistake off a of turn number two, and Brett Marks goes back by. Four in and four to go for Corey Day. This track seems like one that'll be right up his alley here tonight at RPM Speedway. Runs the top. Oh, we got an issue for Parker Price Miller. He's going to go through the infield, and he's going to draw the caution. He'll come to a stop in turn number three. Parker Price Miller slow in turn three, drawing the yellow with five laps complete and three to go here in Winter's performance, heat race number four. Parker Price Miller last night at the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track was 18th in the feature. He comes into the night ninth in the overall point standings with Kubota High Limit Racing. Couple of top five finishes. As we go back to green flag racing here at RPM Speedway. Corey Day been uncontested so far this one for the race lead. The interesting story, however, has been the one for second and third between Zeb Wise, Brent Marks, and the 73 of Hunter Schoenberg. Cody Gardner right now in that fifth and final transfer spot. Gardner came into the night as the only driver to win a 410 wing sprint car race here at RPM Speedway. Three wide for the last transfer spot. Parker Price Miller tried to go between Colby Stubblefield and Cody Gardner. Did not work. PPM trying to work back to the outside to make the pass. Race for second as well here on the white flag. Cody Gardner trying to hold off the law firm as they work down the back straightaway. Here they come off a of turn number four. Corey Day gets the win. Second at the line is going to go to Zeb Wise. Then Brent Marks, Hunter Schoenberg. And at the line, it's going to be Cody Gardner holding off Parker Price Miller just barely at the start finish line. So Corey Day gets the win in winner's performance heat race number four. He goes to the dash. Zeb Wise finishes in second. Brent Marks in third. Going to the dash in the fourth position, the 73 of Hunter Schoenberg. He was the fastest qualifier to transfer. Cody Gardner finishes fifth in the G6. And then Parker Price Miller, Colby Stubblefield, both will be going to tonight's B Main. Well, coming into the night, he was the only winner here with a 410 and with a wing on top of it. Cody Gardner gets the last transfer spot. He's going to talk to Tony Laporta. Chase, we're going to ask him about that exactly. Cody Gardner, Chase Rodman just brought up a great fact. You're the only driver coming into tonight here at RPM Speedway with a victory in a 410 here at RPM Speedway that's competing with Kubota High Limit Racing. How much of that experience are you able to draw on to make this car do what you needed to do here tonight? Well, I need to draw on a little bit more of it because we're kind of sucking right now, but uh, we got a little things to figure out. Uh, we're getting this motor lined out. It's all brand new. Uh, we'll work on it. It'll be fast. We get her in the A. That's Cody Gardner. You're going to see him race on a little bit later here tonight, Chase. Thank you very much, Tony. We'll take a quick break here on Flow Racing. We'll come back with heat races for the Modifieds here tonight at RPM Speedway. Hi, this is Sunshine, Tyler Courtney, and you're watching High Limit Racing on Flow Racing. When it comes to Magneto Ignition Performance, there's only one name that you can trust, and that's BR Motorsports Ignitioneering. Servicing the racing industry for over 30 years, our state-of-the-art Magneto Dyno Test Lab facility is equipped with the most technically advanced equipment available. And that's why crew chiefs like Paul Silva and Philip Dietz choose BR for all their ignition needs. To learn more, visit us at brpromag.com. Capital Custom Trailers and Coaches. We are the number one Renegade Toter Home dealer and the number one Intec and Bravo Sprint Car Trailer dealer. No one sells more Toter Homes and Sprint Car Trailers than we do. Check out our complete lineup at CapitalRenegade.com. If you're in the market for a Toter Home or a trailer, trust the people that are in the pits with you and that support the sport.
your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find your nearest dealer at KubotaOrangedays.com. And welcome back here to Crandall, Texas at the RPM Speedway. We are just about ready for our dash spin. That's right. If you're watching Kubota Highland Racing for the first time, uh, well, we've got a new way to do the dash draw. We've got what is basically a roulette wheel, and the drivers will come up. They will spin that wheel, whatever number they land on, where it's going to go from lowest number to highest number, and that is how we will line up tonight's dash. So eight drivers will spin that wheel, and it'll go from lowest number to highest number. That will set the lineup for tonight's seven-lap FK Rodin's dash. Now, I want to mention as well, you see the double zero on that board. That is the best number you could possibly get. So if somebody lands on double zero right here, they will automatically be on the pole. The next highest number is zero, then one, all the way up to 36. So with that, it looks like we've got just about all of our drivers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's probably close enough. So let's go downstairs to Tony Laporta. Tony, second night here with this uh, new dash wheel, huh? It is the second night, Chase, and uh, people enjoyed it last night at the Texas Motor Speedway Dirt Track. We enjoyed putting it together, Brian Walker and I, super fun. Um, no sarcasm at all, but yeah, it's been a really cool addition to Kubota High Limit Racing, and the drivers stuck around all night last night to find out exactly where they would line up. So, we're going to get going here. Kerry Madsen will be our first driver. We've got the Butler-built professional seat systems hot seat question. Kerry, you'll come over here with me. Blake Dowell, he's got the hard-hitting question. Butler built professional seat systems hot seat question of the night from Blake Dowell is, what's your favorite breakfast cereal? Uh, Vegemite on toast. That's not cereal, but that's my favorite breakfast. Vegemite on toast. I hear that. That would be everyone's favorite breakfast. Yes, everybody should love that. Okay, so come over here. Rule is it's got to make a half rotation. So you spin that bad boy. And remember, as Chase said, folks, we got to wait till everybody's pulled their number to find out exactly where they will start in this one. Low number is going to be on the inside of the front row. Half a rotation. Double zero. That's the inside of the front row. Kerry Madsen makes some noise right there. We got to learn his skill. Spencer Baston, you're up next. Come over here. Butler built professional seat systems hot seat question of the night is, what's your favorite breakfast cereal? I would have to go with Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes, classic, original. Somebody just booed Frosted Flakes. That's wild. Okay, come over here. Give this thing a spin for me. So Kerry Madsen on the inside with a double zero. That new rule, got to make you go a half rotation. He was thinking it was going to land on double zero. What's that? A 24. So 24 for Spencer based, and that obviously would put him second as Kerry Madsen got that double zero automatic inside row one. Anthony Macri, last night's winner at the Texas Motor Speedway. Anthony, we'll have you stand right here. Okay, Butler built professional seat systems, hot seat question. That's a hard hitting one. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Uh, Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa, you had that in the holster, brother. Give that thing a spin right there. Anthony Macri, your winner last night. He is fourth in the championship standings, but he is not a high roller, at least not yet. Kerry Madsen with the double zero, Spencer Basin with the 24, and it's a number four for Macri, so that would put him second right now on the board. Corey Day from Clovis, California is up next. Corey, we know we're going to get to talk to you at Meeker, Oklahoma for the Driven to Save Lives midweek money series kickoff, but we got to know, first of all, what's your favorite breakfast cereal? Reese's Puffs. All right, Reese's Puff getting a little more adventurous. Corey Day is going to give that thing a rip here. If a driver lands on a number, another driver's already landed on the tiebreaker is qualifying times. So a double zero, a 24, and a four. And for Corey Day, it looks like it's going to be, what's that, the 20? Yep, 20. All right, so 20 for Corey Day. That would put him third right now. Brad Sweet, come on down. Butler built professional seat systems hot seat question. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Breakfast cereal. Uh, it's been a long time since I had cereal, but I think back in the day I always liked to have Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. We've heard that one already. I think that was Spencer's. So Brad's going to give it a rip here. We've got a double zero, Kerry Madsen inside of the front row. Second right now unofficially would be Macri with the number four. Corey Day just rolled a 20 or spun a 20. And 24. 
So in that case, we go to the qualifying times, and Brad Sweet gets the tiebreaker. So he had the quicker qualifying time. Spencer Basin is who he ties with. Jacob Allen, come on down. Picked up that victory at Golden Isle Speedway. Jacob Allen, Butler Built Professional Seat Systems Hot Seat Question. What's your favorite breakfast cereal, brother? Yeah, I always grew up big fan of Toucan Sam, so uh, Fruit Loops was definitely mine. I love you. You are uh, so, it's the art of subtleness with Jacob Allen. Gave that thing a spin here. So Brad Sweet has the tiebreaker after spinning a 24 against Spencer Baston. A lot of numbers left still available on that board after Jacob Allen. We got two drivers still to go here, and that is going to be a 12. So Jacob Allen with the 12. By my math, that would, I think, we'd be good enough for fourth right now. Third. Third for Jacob Allen. Cy Lynch. We talked to him after his heat race. Doing a good job here locking into the dash. Cy Lynch, Butler Built Professional Seat Systems Hot Seat Question. Blake Dowell wants to know what's your favorite breakfast cereal. Oh, it's got to be Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, a classic, classic. Give that wheel a spin for me now. Double zero, 24, 4, 20, and 12 have been taken. Kerry Madsen, by virtue of spinning that double zero inside of the front row here. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. Cy Lynch holding on, holding his breath, and it's still not stopped. 27. That, unfortunately, is the highest number we have seen spun so far. And Hunter Schurenberg, 100%, is going to make his way down here. Hunter jumping in that 73. Hunter, what's your favorite breakfast cereal? Uh, I'm going to have to go with my kid's favorite, probably Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I, oh. I've, I've, uh, I've fixed a whole lot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch the past couple years for them, so uh, I'm going to pick that one. The roar from the crowd for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hunter Schurenberg, our final spin here. Cy Lynch just spun the highest number to this point at 27. Dang, Hunter, Hunter's going to spin that thing right off the stand. Brian, you got the nut tight on that, right? All right, here we go. Double zero for Madsen, 24 for Baston and Sweet. A four for Macri would put him second. Day was a 20, and Allen was a 12. Hunter Schoenberg trying to find out where he's going to slot in right here, right now. 8. 18. So 18 is where Hunter Schoenberg spins. Brian, give me the breakdown here. I'm going to cheat and use Brian Walker as my helper here. So that is going to be Kerry Madsen on the inside of the front row, Anthony Macri outside front row, Jacob Allen 100% row two, Corey Day, Brad Sweet, Spencer Baston, and Cy Lynch. That's how they'll line up for the dash a little bit later on tonight, Chase. Thank you very much there, Tony Laporta. Great job down there. And I know I was supposed to answer that question, wasn't I, Tony? Or that was what you were telling me. It was a big surprise. Yes, I apologize. We were also asked to answer that question. So, Chase, what is your favorite breakfast cereal? I'm going with honeycomb. You ever had honeycomb? No, that no, that sounds too healthy for me. Oh. I am a, right there with Hunter Schurenberg and his children. Cinnamon Toast Crunch for me all day, every day. I just got like three new Instagram followers off that chase. Yeah, there's a lot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch fans in the grandstands here tonight at RPM Speedway. Well, next up on the program, it looks like it's going to be the modified heat races, but we're going to take a quick break here on Flow Racing. When we come back, it will be heat race action for the Modifieds here in Crandall, Texas. Winning doesn't just happen. 